Hi, this is Mike with Mike and Rick Outdoors. I'm here in uh, November 15th in Maramonte Reservoir. Beautiful location, do some trout fishing. Just south of Norwood, Colorado. We got lucky on the weather. Perfect blue sky for the next three or four days. But I'm here to talk about Kodiak Canvas. I bought one of their tents, the Kodiak 12x12 Cabin Lodge SR, and SR stands for stove ready. The temperature right now is probably around 20 degrees. It's supposed to get down to a low of about 15, maybe 12 degrees tonight for the next three or four nights. So we're really uh, kind of concerned about staying warm and how this is going to work as far as keeping us warm in this cold weather. We've got uh, two different heat sources. We've got uh, Winterwell's Nomad uh, stove and then uh, the Big Buddy propane heaters. And so we're going to see how that keeps us warm at night. We're going to talk about this tent and how to set it up, how to put it together. So let's get started here with their tent. First thing is I always like to put a tarp down, find a good piece of ground somewhere that doesn't have any sharp rocks. Right now I don't know where the door is, the front door on the tent is. Of course I'll know, I'll unroll it and look, but I want the door facing the lake. So let me unroll this thing and see what we got as far as the front door. One thing nice about it is 12 by 12 square and my tarp I've got laid out in a 12 by 12 square. So I just got to get it the right, uh, the right direction. I don't know if I'm going to be lucky enough or not here on the first try. And it unfolds really easy. And this is the way also when you're folding it back together, this is uh, the same way that it's being unfolded here is the way you fold it back up. I mean, there's a method to it to, to get it packed up really nice. Kodiak put their logo on the front by the door, so I'm kind of looking for the, uh, and the zippers, and I don't see it, so 50-50 chance, I lost out. So the front's over here. So I gotta spin it around, no big deal, because, and here's their logo. Cody has canvas, and here's the zipper, so yeah. So it's just, uh, not no big deal to orient it around and that towards the front. I'd like to step out in the morning there with the, the lake, of course. So and I can get rid of these rocks holding my tarp down. A little bit windy, but it's kind of died down a little bit. One corner there. Okay, we got it laid out square. Now the next step is to put in all the stakes to stake the bottom of the tent down. And I recommend a small sledge. This particular ground is pretty rocky. I'm on the driveway here of the campground, so it is a little bit more rockier than normal. Okay, so now we're staking down. Main first thing you want to do is you want to do all four corners. So here's one corner. We've got stake down. And then our other corner. Got his stake down. So yeah, we put all four corners in first before you do the sides. And put one corner in and then pull the the parallel corner. Don't go diagonal. It won't be very straight for you. So here we are. We're going to do this corner. He 
hit a little bit of a rock, but I'll knock that in later. All right, now I'm going to go do this corner. There. And then our last corner. Now, we got that done. Actually, we need to stake these others. We got the four corners done. Now we need to get the uh, sides. Just remember to put the corners in first. And then we'll get the sides put in. Now, once you get all the all the stakes in the floor done, then you got to put the ridge in. That's next. Now, these are the these are the poles that come with it. And I want to show you which ones are which. First of all, this one here with the T on the top, you can use if you have a heavy snow load coming in, it goes on underneath the ridge and supports the ridge. These two poles here, these are for your ridge pole. There's, of course, there's only two of them, and they're bigger in diameter than all the other poles, so they're easy to separate out. The ridge pole, then the two supports that hold the ridge pole. Of course, this, the front of the tent, the ridge goes this way, so you got one ridge pole here, one in the back. Okay, this is our ridge pole. So it's nice, it's got metal cable here connecting them, so that's gonna last a long time. That's a really good feature. And it just goes through the top all the way to the other end. There's a sleeve here it goes in and it doesn't matter which end both of them are the same and it slips in there pretty easy. And these have these have extenders on them that uh, the little push button in there now also there's a loop at the top and this loop goes in between these two uh, rivets that are sticking up to hold that loop so you need to make sure it's not rocket scientist stuff, but make sure that your ridge goes through this one loop, just the one loop up here. Put your ridge, your ridge support on there. Of course, it's not tall enough, but we're going to extend it out when we when we get it erected up. <clears throat> So this goes through the loop. <laughs> now 
and this goes over these two rivets up there the black loop does I don't know if you can you can see that this black loop goes over the ridge pole and you got to pull it down in between these two to where it goes down in between them right there now the instructions that came with Kodiak canvas tells you now it's time for two people but I think this can be done solo camping because there's gonna be times I'm gonna be out by myself and uh, I'll show you how this can be done and what the problem is because when you set this one up of course you got to get these up in the air it's gonna fall over on you now we got to do the other end over here and like I said the only thing really to remember is this loop in between those two and then stand this one up and I may get lucky enough in fact this might work if because uh, you got the corner stake down kind of lean this into where the corner is taunt and holding this up so let me go back and push this one up high okay so we're at the other side over here I'm gonna go ahead and raise this one up and hope that one will stand up on its own which leaning that way is taunt against the corner so it may work uh, there's several tie ropes that come with this tent there's two for each one of the ridge poles and they're uh, kind of multicolored uh, tie ropes and what I did was I just tied a, a loop on the end on all of the tie ropes I just tied a loop on the end so they just fit real easy over the top as I'll show you so this one here I went ahead and put it on the one of the rivets at the top up here or you could tie it around here the instructions say to tie it around here either way works this works just fine for me once we got this one up before I raise it up and extend it up I'm gonna go ahead and put a tie rope on of course you drive one of these stakes in the ground back here which we've got one in the ground here and then I'm just gonna kind of tentatively not do it really tight because I'm going to be adjusting these later on so now I'm going to get this one up in the air and of course down at the bottom there's a little pin sticking up on the tie ring that you nail down of course you want to put that little pin in the bottom of your uh, pole so let's get these things up in the air and this one's a little bit difficult but it's doable and it's got the snaps okay so now we're ready to extend these up for full height and uh, so they've got a little button here of course you push it in to adjust it but I'm going to go ahead and adjust it to the highest it'll go and that's what you want there's four option holes here but I, I'm going to use the last one there that, that sets it up as high as it'll go and I think we're going to be okay with that you got to set it down on the anchor pin there we go now this is the hardest part actually getting these the ridge poles so now I'm gonna pull that back a little bit get a little bit of tension on it and then go to the other side okay now we're on the other end here's our anchor pin there and here's our rope we've got an anchor put down out here for our anchor rope get this out extended all the way there we go Sit it down on the anchor pin. That 
that one looks pretty straight there. I'm gonna go adjust the other one. This one's uh, leaning a little bit, so I'm gonna tighten it up. So we'll tighten it up a little bit here. I think that's probably tight enough. And it can be adjusted. Like I said, we'll get these things up just to hold it temporary and then we'll adjust them. And so now we got the ridge up. That's the first thing. I want to notice something. I want to point out something that I really like. I, I hate a saggy ridge and I build buildings and you want a uh, straight top. And this actually has an arch, it kind of arches up a little bit, which I think is pretty cool. You don't want it, it, it just, it looks bad for having a saggy roof. Now we've got all these uh, poles here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate them out. And there's some of them that need to be put together. So we're gonna put those together and some that don't need to be put together. And we'll put those over here. So just separate them out. The ones that go together one side and, uh, and then the ones that don't go over here. And so we've got four of them that had to be put together. And of course they're connected with wire cable in there. That's really neat. Lasts you a long, long time. And the rest of these are the same height. Right here, so there's two different lengths of poles. Now, the ones that go together, they go on the front and the back, and we'll do that in a minute. But the first thing you wanna do is take the, the shorter poles, go on the corners. So here's one on this corner, and that corner. And let me get the guy ropes. And what I've done with the guy ropes is the top is a, goes up in a grommet on your tent. And I just made a loop that goes over the top, makes it real nice and easy to take down and set up. So these go on the corner, and I, and I think the best thing is to put the corners up first. So they just go through the grommet, then on the anchor here, and of course you got to have already nailed them in. Got your anchors. So this goes down to here. Now on these corners, what you want to do is you don't want to come out parallel with a wall on the, on the guy on the anchor rope. You want to come out at a 45 degrees, 45 to the on the corners. The rest of them are 90 degrees down from the wall, but on the corner you want to go 45 degrees. So I'm going to run around and put these corners on. Now, these poles have Velcro. Of course, you want to do that. That makes it stronger. It's really nice. Wrap that one. Wrap that one. And I'm going to put the other corner up. And once you get the ridge up, the corners go pretty quick and easy. Guy rope on.
put our Velcro on. Put our last corner up here. Down to our anchor. Now, it doesn't matter if you do the sides or the front. I'm going to go ahead and do the front because I want to show you something. So we got the we got the ridge pole and the four corners and that leaves the the original four poles that were longer than the rest of them the rest of them uh, of course go on the corners and the sides sides in the front and the back these ones that come apart they're a little bit longer they go here in the front and the back so that's the difference in those poles it's just these are uh, a little bit taller they support the front and the back and we'll wrap our velcro on there So the front, the front is done. Of course, we'll come back and adjust these guy ropes. Let me get the Velcro on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Velcro on. Okay, we got this side done, except for we'll come back and pull these a little bit tight and adjust them. We're going to go get the other side done now. And so we're going to go ahead and put one of these longer ones in in the back here.
now our last two on the side same as the other side Okay, now we've got everything up and staked down. So now the last thing is uh, go around and adjust these ropes. Kind of get everything straight up and down. Make sure things aren't sagging. This one needs to be pulled up a little bit tighter. That looks pretty good. This one can be a little bit tighter. Just kind of go around the whole perimeter of the tent and adjust the guy wires. Okay, now let's get this one adjusted. This one's kind of, yeah, that one needed to be adjusted. It was sagging out pretty much. So, that looks pretty good. This one's a little bit loose. That one feels good. I think this was fine. Uh, it could be tightened up a little bit. This one needs to be tightened up. Just kind of go around each one of them and get the final adjustment done. I think these look pretty good. This can go a little bit. Okay. That looks pretty good. I really like the look of this tent. It really looks nice. The, uh, I want to show you the uh, stove ready part of it. Okay, what's really nice about this uh, 12 by 12 uh, cabin lodge tent is on this one window here is an awning. And the reason for this awning on the one particular window is you can open this window in the rain and it won't rain in on you, of course. And so it's a kind of protection from the rain where you don't have to close up all the windows when it's raining on you. So it's a really nice feature that they added on. It's really useful. So for the rain, you can open up, uh, have an open window, get some air in there instead of closing up the tent. So it has a strap on it here. And the way this strap works is you have your guy rope that, that comes down from the top of your pole here, support pole, and there's your guy rope coming down. So what you do, you take your guy rope. Here's your guy rope, there's two holes here. You come in, uh, you know, through the, through the top, down underneath, back up through this hole. So now you got this on, on your guy rope. And of course you can adjust it up and down on your guy rope. But, so now we're gonna tie our loop, end of our guy rope, just a regular square knot loop. So it makes it easier to hook on the end of that. Now we got this on there. So it's on there like that to where it can be adjusted up and down my guy rope. So we're gonna get our guy rope tight. 
You want that. In fact, you want a lot of slack out of here. This is where you adjust it. That don't move. So we have our support for our awning on our guy rope. And I went ahead and lengthened this out quite a bit because once you get your guy rope on here tight, you can't move this at all. You don't want to move it. That's what anchors it down. You'll be doing your adjustments here. So you want a long length here. And I've got it pretty much almost maxed out because you can tighten it up. Just make sure I got enough room. So here, got it on there. Now I need my awning. So I just pull this out. Works great. Now that, that's nice. That's nice. Now let's do the other side. Just as a review, we'll do the other side. So I'm going to take my guy rope down. And I'm going to take my support and see how it's, I'm going to lengthen this strap. I'm going to maximize it out. I think it works better. Give you more room. So now I got the strap maximized out. Take my guy rope. And run it through the two holes and back up and run it down to I'm going to go ahead and tie my loop in here to anchor it on the top of my support pole here yeah that's going to work just fine so I anchor this down to my anchor Get that pull kind of tight. In fact, I got it down a little bit too far. Shorten it up. Got that good and tight. That's just right. Now, now I can cinch this up. Get my awning out there. There, that's nice. So that's how the awning gets supported and stretched out on there and like I said for the rain so now you can have one window open get some fresh air in there when it's raining okay one last thing we want to look at on the outside of the tent is uh, this is the uh, 1212 cabin lodge Kodiak canvas tent and it's SR SR stands for stove ready it's ready for a stove flume to come through the wall of the tent the roof of the tent I'll tell you one thing I just happened to think about it uh, this is really nice in the daytime the, the dark canvas on the side, then the white canvas on top lets a lot of light inside. That's a really neat feature. There's some other things I want to mention uh, about the windows on the tent. We'll mention in a minute. Well, right now I want to talk about the stove-ready feature. This fly here comes over the top. If you don't want a stove, it, it remains waterproof. And it just unzips. You can roll it up and get out of the way. So now what we've got is I bought a stove from Winterwell and it's a fantastic stove. I absolutely love the stove and it comes with a flashing kit that you can install in the roof of the tent. Now this stove ready tent came with a black flashing that I, I'm going to show all this later in a separate uh, re, uh, review, a separate video, but for right now I installed the flashing kit that came from Winterwell and it was real easy to install and it's an, uh, and it fits their um, uh, double wall pipe that goes through here that I'll look at later and so anyway this is a stove ready aspect part of the uh, of the tent and I'm going to leave that open because I'm going to install the tent and I'll show the stove inst installation later but one thing I want to mention about this tent is the uh, the number of windows on this tent of course, there's one here and one there. And in the front, as I was mentioning, the windows, they put, and I noticed in other people's reviews and other videos when I was researching tents, uh, figuring out which one I was wanting to get, uh, what was noticed and mentioned a lot was the number, the, the square footage of window space. Especially in the summertime, this being a four season tent, you have a lot of windows you can open up a lot of air in. And up here in Colorado where I do a lot of camping up in the mountains anywhere really, uh, it's, it's not hot at night, it's cold. And you'll have those windows zipped up. But in daytime, daytime you can have them zipped down. But see, one thing nice, they didn't have to put a window over here. This could have just been front canvas like most tents. Very large window, it's huge, giant window here. And look at the height and the one thing and other that's a really nice feature. I'm 6'4". I've had tents before, 
not one as nice as this tent. It's always been a little bit inconvenient for me to have to stoop down to get inside the tent. This tent right here is 6'5", six 6'5 five, six five to this opening. And so look at the height of this tent here. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, of course, get this out of your way. You just roll it up. One thing nice about it, it's got, they added Velcro right there to kind of keep it temporarily close for you. There's one. So that's really nice opening to carry a lot of things, carry your uh, cot. I have a really nice cot that's uh, super nice and comfortable from REI. And uh, I might mention that a little bit. I shopped around for cots being 6'4". That one was long enough. The others weren't long enough. The REI had one that was long enough for me to sleep on. So carrying cots in here, tables to do your cooking, stoves and stuff. Just carrying your ice chest and gear in here, you, you, you need a door. They put a door on this tent. Got plenty of height to come in and out of here. It's like I said, I'm 6'4", so anybody else have no problem hitting their head on this thing. Big wide door, that's a really nice feature. And like I mentioned, the windows, look at the windows on this thing. Windows here and the windows there. Of course, the large windows in the back. So now I'd like to go inside and look at the inside of the tent. And we'll mention the windows also when we get in there and look at the room inside this tent. Okay, I think we're through with the outside. We've gone over uh, installation. And uh, at the end of the video here, we'll do a quick review of what we did. Now I want to go in the inside and show how this uh, ridge pole uh, sets up and take a look on the inside of the tent. Oh, there's a lot of features I absolutely love about this tent. The headroom for one, four foot, uh, four foot saw walls on the side. Now, of course, Kodiak Canvas, they, they know what they're doing making tents. They put these uh, smoke roof uh, vents up here in the top. And there's one at each end. There's one here at the ridge here and one there for several reasons. Well, uh, this is absolute uh, deal breaker for me. These have got to be in, in my tent. And a really good, a good idea that uh, Kodiak Canvas put them in there. My stove, light matches, anything you do in here you, you, that puts off an odor. Uh, we've got propane heaters. Uh, propane, when you're disconnecting your propane here and there, it puts off a little bit of an odor, light matches, uh, smoke from your stove. You want that to vent out of here. You want good, clean air to breathe. It goes right straight up out of this vent here and out of there. Safety reason also, you don't want to be closed in. You want some ventilation. You want, uh, I leave one of these windows cracked a little bit and uh, it's supposed to be down to around 12 degrees tonight and uh, we'll uh, do another review tomorrow uh, on how this tent performed uh, during the cold. But uh, my, I plan on cracking one of the windows a little bit, leave these open for sure, because I know I'm gonna have some smoke for my stove, plus I want some ventilation through here. Now, what I wanna talk about is this ridge pole that came. Of course, it's got the wire cable there to hold them together. It's really nice. I've had bad experiences with, with string, so that's really nice. This is a support pole that goes in the middle. Now, it goes in the middle here to adjust. You can adjust it here, up and down and it goes in these rings up here at the top so it just it just goes in there to hold it in place and it's a support pole in the middle and it's it's nice uh if you've got a lot of snow but as i mentioned on the outside of the uh, tent that ridge actually arcs up it doesn't sag i do not see a need for this structurally to for the structural integrity of the roof or the tent and so i'm not going to use it because when you do use it a little bit, you have to walk around it. But if you got a lot of heavy snow or something like that, uh, maybe wind or something, it's here and it's real quick and easy to install. You just set it in here. So I just keep it with the tent. If I ever need it, you know, a foot of snow comes down, I can shove this in there really quick. But for right now, I just keep it off to the side. Now what I want to look at now is the, uh, they put pockets on all of these. But uh, along the walls there, two there, two there, two in the back. Uh, there's six in total, two, four, six, eight actually. But I want to uh, show these windows. These windows are really nice. They really just, uh, of course they roll up at the bottom and they let a lot of air in and uh, the front and this big large window in the front. You can see the lake. You can stay inside the tent and look at the view instead of being walled in with canvas. And so what's really nice about this, in the summertime, you can uh, have a view, right? In this particular situation, it's Marymonte Lake and they have that beautiful view of the lake. And you can close the door 
and keep bugs out and mosquitoes. Of course, got mesh on the windows. So you can shut the door and still be able to see outside. So you can stay in here in your tent, relax, or take a nap or whatever, and be able to look outside and see the views, see what people are doing. So this is a really nice feature. And it's not a small window, that's a large window. And like I said, they got windows here, this side window, and this window here. And these zippers are really heavy duty, great zippers. Some zippers I've run into on cheaper tents don't work as well. What's really nice is the back. The back has this, instead of one big wall of canvas, the whole back is just nothing but window. Look at this. I mean, there is uh, that cold air blowing through here. And this window here. So, it may be a four season tent and gonna work really well for us here in the wintertime here in November in Colorado, but in the summertime, you talk about air blowing through it, a breeze and a view. Look at the size of these windows in the back. There's just windows on all four sides of this thing. Of course, I didn't roll them up. Of course, they have their they have the roll-ups here where you can roll them up out of the way. I'm not gonna take the time to do that. But it just, it was getting a little bit warm in here. Now it opened those up, just cool, clean mountain air blowing through here is just wonderful. Even in November, it's still nice to have these windows down in the middle of the day when it's a little bit warm. So that's really what's really nice about this tent is these, are these windows. Like I said, there's just so many of them in here letting the air through. And uh, the white canvas on top, I'm sure at night, when we got the lights going and got the lanterns running in here, this is uh, really gonna light up at night, uh, this white uh, top. And, the, and look how much light's coming in. It's not, it's not dark and confined. A lot of tremendous light coming in. So that's a really neat feature. It's just a great tent. I absolutely love it. And uh, real heavy duty uh, rubber waterproof on the bottom. So it's sealed all the way around. It's sealed all along the edges for cold. No cold, cold won't blow in insects and bugs won't can't get in here so i can see what's going on i can see everywhere i can see what's going on windows are nice and kodiak knew that that's why they put made this tent with this many windows and i did not see another tent out there that had this many windows and other people that was talking about this tent that's what they mentioned they said the windows are just awesome they really love the windows and of course they're right it's just a really neat feature i absolutely love this tent it is the most amazing tent i've ever owned ever bought and we've been out here for about a week and it's been getting down to about oh low teens mid teens at night early in the morning up to about 35 in the day i've got uh my REI sleeping cot in there. I've got a, uh, a Mr. Buddy, a heater, a uh, fold-out table to cook on with a stove. Uh, 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 plenty of room to walk around with two chairs, my, my uh, winter well stove and oven in there. And at night, all zipped up tight, it's been getting down to about 45, 50 degrees, which is comfortable to me when it's 13 outside. And so it's really, really, uh, proved to be a dependable tent and keep you warm and comfortable here out here camping. I'm extremely happy with it and pleased with it. So it uh, holds heat. If you got some type of heat source like a stove like I've got and like the Mr. Buddy heater, I can't run them both at the same time. It gets about 85 degrees in there. It's like a sauna. So I usually run the uh, Mr. Buddy heater and save on the firewood. But it's just a phenomenal tent. It's really uh, secure with all the tie downs. Uh, no problem in the wind and it's a real roomy tent. I was originally gonna get the uh, 10 by 10 tent, but I went ahead and got the 12 by 12, and I'm glad I did, it's a lot roomier. Yeah, so I really love this tent. Uh, my buddy Rick, uh, of uh, Mike and Rick Outdoors, he has the uh, 10 by uh, 14 uh, can Kodiak canvas tent, and it's really performed well for him. He's done a review on that, uh, explaining how fantastic a tent that is. We just love both these products. And it's just, compared to what I've done over the years, uh, this, is, this is far, far better. A uh, lot more comfortable, a lot more room. It gets dark here now in late November, all oh, around 5.30. And I mean, it gets cold quick when that sun goes down. So we spend five or six hours inside the tent, which is a lot of time. So you want a lot of room. We sit in there, clean room for two chairs. We, uh, we cook all kind of good foods on our uh, winter well stove and oven. 
and sitting there and visit. And so you, you, need to, you need the room, you need the comfort and stay out of the cold. And so that's really performed well. The, the, the structural integrity of it, I mean, it really ties down with all these tie downs. And uh, I think it's going to be really strong, uh, last and hold up really well in any kind of a storm or any kind of a weather. I feel really good in protecting it and safe. So I appreciate it. I uh, hope you liked the video and hope uh, it's uh, helpful to you in, in picking a tent and using one. Uh, I'm going to do more on this after I see how it performs tonight. But if you like our videos uh, with Mike and Rick Outdoors camping, this is our camping session of our uh, webpage. Uh, we appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. We appreciate it. I hope it's helpful. Okay, I think that's about it on this part of this tent setup. So the next video, I'm going to show the installation of the winter well stove. I have the large. I'm going to show you how to set it up, the mat you put down, how to get the, the flashing kit installed, and get the stove all set up, and see how that well that performs. For cooking, I also bought the stove that comes with it, I mean the oven, the oven that comes with it. So I'm planning on cooking some pizzas, some biscuits in the morning, maybe an apple pie. So you can cook on this stove and of course the oven and provide a lot of heat. And so we'll uh, do a review on that next here. Uh, that'll be the next one. We'll be doing that as we continue on in these reviews on this tent. So as, again, I'd like to express our appreciation for watching the video and hope you'll like what you see. Please subscribe. We appreciate it.